Hello, my name's Michael Gibson and I play King George III in Hamilton in London and I have been given the amazing privilege of being invited here to Windsor Castle to look at some of King George's personal papers which have never been seen before and I can't wait to see what's in store. An audience with Michael Gibson and King George III. Wow, <laughs> how cool is that? This is the this is piece. The third. This, is, the third. this isn't a copy, this is the That's piece. Him. Wow. That's him. Look at him. Nice and, I can't, and I can't touch it. I've yeah. just got to. <laughs> so this is 1775, and he says the number of troops to be employed in North America will probably exceed 38,000. And then he goes on, of which 25,000 in New York and some part of the New England colonies, about 11 or 12,000 in the province of Quebec, I guess. It's like a game, isn't it? This is him. It's his. Yeah, he's writing. It's not a secretary writing this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a big project for him, yes. like a big hobby project. And yeah. partly what all this is, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Is the, these are the maps? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, table. and this here is like his Twitter feed. Yeah. <laughs> In a way, his conscious Twitter it's, feed. This is a great letter from his father to him, saying basically, this is not about how you feel. Your marriage is a matter of state. Well, suck it up. Of duty, and yeah. yeah. How does it relate to Adams then so as well? Because obviously I, I have that moment in the show, so I'm interested. It's just the timing. This is June 1796, so this is just as a, about the same sort of time as Washington's decided. Not I see. Standard. No, that's interesting because, like, you know, tonight when I play that moment, I'll think about my son, him mucking up. I mean, what's interesting about this image is part of the story of George's madness. If you look at the face, it's, it's not yeah. far away from John Bull right. as well. If you think about it, the kind of slightly portly figure mm -hmm. with the red cheeks. And once George goes mad, actually, he's quite easily transformed into a kind of national figure. So we've just finished the amazing tour of these papers in the Royal Library at Windsor Castle. You've seen all these materials that show George as a politician, as a military commander, mm -hmm. as a family man, as a really thoughtful and curious yeah. intellect. There's so much multi-dimensional material here in this extraordinary archive and it's been so terrific to it's, share that with it's you. It's been extraordinary and I'm going to play King George tonight <laughs> with all this running around in my head. It's going to put a different slant on the way I play it. Not massively different, but I'll be thinking in a slightly different way for sure. Everybody! 